Not too long ago, I made a video about how old MJ gave a young Vince Carter fits. So now, let's talk about what happened literally just a month prior to that. Here's Paul Pierce describing the very first time he met Michael while he was still with the Jayhawks. That was my first time meeting you, Mike. After that year, I was planning on uh, going to the NBA, and I was like, looking at Mike, kind of sizing him up, and I was like, okay, I got a little, I'm a little bit taller than Mike now. You know, I can match up with him. You know what I'm saying? Amazing. My head. Because I knew I never would have had to send it to him as a college kid. I think you lucky you were sizing them up in your head and not saying that now. And not saying yep. that now. Oh, no, I wasn't, wasn't going to say that in the mic. Pierce said that he wouldn't have dared to talk trash to Jordan while he was still in college, but three years into the NBA version of Pierce had no problem trash talking Jordan at all. Jordan just so happened to retire for the second time just as Pierce was drafted into the NBA. But while Jordan was away from the game temporarily, Pierce quickly established himself as one of the top young guys in the league. And it looked like Jordan noticed, because Antoine Walker, who would play against MJ in pickup games during the summer, said this, quote, Jordan talked about it all summer, that he wants to play against Paul, and he would finally get his wish when he returned to the NBA as a Washington Wizard. Now, technically, their first matchup took place in the preseason, but it was still a good one. They were trash-talking each other all game, as Pierce had this to say afterwards. I've been waiting for this day. Once again, even though that was a preseason game, Jordan still took it personal. I mean, you can just tell by listening to the post-game press conference. It wasn't really surprising that Jordan was looking forward to their first official meeting in the regular season, considering the trash talk that occurred in that preseason game. But what's scary is, MJ knew the exact date it was on. That probably made Paul Pierce excited, but also nervous at the same time, knowing that Michael had already circled that day on his calendar, which probably made him regret all that smack he was talking. But there was no going back. MJ was coming for him. As you just heard MJ say, November 7th, 2001 would be the day he and Pierce would first meet in the regular season, which was only the fifth game into the season for both of them, so MJ didn't have to wait very long to face him again. Now remember, it was also just the fifth game into his first comeback in 1995, where he dropped 55 points on the New York Knicks, so people were curious to see if history would repeat itself, with Jordan having a similar performance this time around as well, even if he was much older. The much-anticipated matchup was all set. All that was left for the fans to do was enjoy the show. Antoine Walker said that they can live with Jordan scoring 30. Well, it's not like they had much of a choice.
Jordan was making a young Paul Pierce look silly like it was nothing. Age was clearly just a number for him this night. Now, Jordan didn't really guard Pierce until the fourth quarter, but when he did, he totally shut him down. After Jordan forces Pierce into a traveling violation, you can see Jordan jawing with Pierce on their way back down the court. Now listen to this. Paul Pierce only put up two points on one for six field goals in the fourth quarter, zero points in the last 10 minutes of the game, and just 14 points for the entire game, while Jordan put up a grand total of 32 points. You could say that maybe Pierce was just having an off night. Well, all those missed shot attempts he put up in the fourth quarter all came against Jordan. So that had to have been more than just a coincidence. Okay, this. Still not convinced that Jordan is the GOAT. Still not convinced that Jordan could not play against any wings uh, in today's game. This is more proof right here. Paul Pierce, who used to give LeBron problems, got shut down by 38-year-old Michael Jordan. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Raw TV, Raw, Raw Sports TV 23, Raw Sports TV 23.